Save Our Planet, United Nations and European Commission call for shift toward vegan diet to Finally, save the Earth. We are at the stage where the issue of sustainable consumption, which has long been talked about in the corridors and in the back rooms, but never frontally as an important item in public policy, has now come to the fore is now very much on the tables of governments and the United Nations system. The United Nations Environment Programme, or UNEP, and the European Commission have jointly launched a major report calling for radical change in the way that economies use resources known to be dwindling at alarming rates in order to minimize environmental impact. The study titled Assessing Environmental Impacts of Consumption and Production, Priority Products and Materials identified two leading causes of environmental pressure. Fossil fuel fuels and agriculture, with specific attention given to the livestock raising sector. And so what I see is that actually there is meat has a higher energy use uh, per calorie produced or per kilogram produced uh, than vegetables. So that is something that we've found from our studies. If we spread our limited resources too thinly and hope that everything is profitable, we will lose. We have to find priorities. And this report is about finding priorities. Authored by researchers from the UNEP-hosted International Panel for Sustainable Resource Management, the report states agriculture and food consumption are identified as one of the most important drivers of environmental pressures, especially habitat change, climate change, water use, and toxic emissions. If we seriously want to talk about the questions of biodiversity, of the water quality, nitrates pollution, of the CO2 emissions. If we seriously want to talk about that, we have to ask for the help of farmers also. The report further explains that with a growing global population and developing economies, the impacts of climate change and environmental degradation will be even more dangerous unless patterns of production and consumption, especially starting at home, become more sustainable. As Minister for Water and Irrigation in Tanzania, I noted that the report highlights the agriculture as one of the key production activities in need of improvement. This report states that uh, global household consumption of agricultural goods has an average water footprint of uh, over one million liters of water per person per year. Particularly highlighted is the fact that an unsustainably large proportion of the world's crops are currently fed to livestock, resulting in such damaging effects as excessively high water consumption and toxic use of pesticides and fertilizers, with the report saying that a global drop in meat consumption is vital to avoid devastating consequences. The authors state, a substantial reduction of impacts would only be possible with a substantial worldwide diet change away from animal products. About the consumption of meat, the, the answer would pretty much uh, go into the same direction. I certainly believe that we would need some uh, tax reform. Uh, the, the, the concrete question of the taxing meat consumption, my answer would be, of course, we have to look uh, with uh, uh, thorough impact assessments. I want scientific facts, I want analysis to be done, but in principle I think that's the, that's, the, uh, that's the direction in which we should go. But certainly the thoughts of limiting the, the meat consumption should be taken seriously. UNEP Executive Director Occam Steiner further highlighted the destructive role of livestock, stating, two broad areas are currently having a disproportionately high impact on people and the planet's life support systems. These are energy in the form of fossil fuels and agriculture, especially the raising of livestock for meat and dairy products. Some tough choices are signaled in this report, but it may prove even more challenging for everyone if the current paths continue into the coming decades. What is the role of livestock, uh, for instance, in terms of climate change, but also what is the consumption of livestock and the increasing use of uh, meat, for instance, in our diets? Um, our role is to inform people and to also give them the opportunity to perhaps change their lifestyles by having better information. The report which will be presented to world governments urges policymakers to adopt strict but creative measures to avoid these adverse consequences. This is a time now for reports such as this 
to help the analysis and the decision making of governments and entities everywhere. Our appreciation, Executive Director Steiner, United Nations Environment Program, European Commission and International Panel for Sustainable Resource Management scientists for your leadership in stating the need to prioritize a widespread shift to a diet free of animal products. May wise governments and individuals worldwide quickly heed this call to ensure the survival of lives on Earth. Supreme Master Ching Hai has similarly spoken on many occasions of the immense toll of meat and fish production on the planet, tirelessly urging for a global switch to plant-based fare, as in the following excerpt from an October 2009 video conference in Germany. But even though our predicament is very grave, we do still have time if we act now. And the solution is still very simple. Well, 